Center to represent in Kogi West. Uh, thank you for joining TVC News. I have heard your latest comments as regards uh, this election, but let me find out how you feel today with the swearing in of Ashiwaji Bola Metin. I feel so happy. I'm happy for our nation, and I'm equally very happy for Ashiwaji himself as a person because he personified today those who struggle for the instrument of democracy. And it's a thing of joy to see him imagine being voted overwhelmingly as the president of this country. He has labored for it, he labored for the country. And for me, I see the situation as God justifying his struggle over the years. Ashiwaju has built bridges across this length and breadth that it is. He has raised men and women of substance across uh, the divide. So to have him as president today is a thing that all of us are happy about. And uh, we look forward to a new Nigeria. Indeed. A new Nigeria. Ashwajo has been talking about a government of national unity. Yes. That doesn't totally align with your position about probing you know, matters of the past like the CBN governor. For me, a government of national unity will not be an issue that will obstruct the government finding out what happened in time past. Because some people actually plan to make today impossible. Okay, some people plan for anarchy, but God in his mercy and the prayer of the masses, those who are under the yoke of, uh, of, of, of pains of the economy, they, they, they prayed and we, we are here today. So the government of national unity wouldn't stop Ashiwaju from looking at those who plan to destroy the country, those who wanted anarchy, those who didn't want democracy to strive in Nigeria. Okay, so I, I so smart. So. Possibly subsequently we'll be talking about your governorship ambition. Thank you, thank you for talking to us.